Hello and welcome to the sales dashboard series. Now today I'm going to go over dynamic conditional formatting based on the previous year. So I have opened the sales dashboard and as we can see at the bottom I have a table called subcategory sales last year and this year. So this is the total sales of last year and this year. We have our subcategories, our previous year sales, our total sales and the difference between these two years. Immediately when you look at this you can see the green and the red. The green is based on a conditional formatting measure that we've created where if the cells of this year are greater than the previous year we want it to be green and if it was less it will be red. So let's use the machines as an example. Right now we have 2017 selected we can see 55,000 cells in machines and this year in 2017 we sold 43,000. So how do we go about achieving this? Let me open up a new page. Let's create our table. Let's grab our subcategories. Let's grab our total sales and our previous sales. Let me just pop open the measures so you can see what I've used. The total sales column was made with a sum and the previous year uh, sales was made by this formula here. Now I'm going to rename the two columns just so it's a little bit easier for everyone to understand. Let's call this previous year's sales in pounds. Oh, in pounds. And that's immediately easier for everyone to understand. So what we want to do now to get the dynamic colors, what we want to do is create a new measure. Let's call this format colors, format cells color, just for example. Now we want to write if total cells, this is our total cells of 2017. This is the measure that I've created earlier is greater than previous year sales now this is a measure i'm going to reference the measure i used to uh, get this uh, column which is our total sales last year measure comma if it is greater we want it to be green if it is uh, less we want it to be red very simple if statement what's going on here oh sorry why is it giving us two? Oh, i forgot to put in the commas it's all right it happens to the best of us <laughs> There we go. That was just me writing the double brackets. But anyway, now that we've created our measure, what we want to do is total cells. Let's click the table. Total cells, conditional formatting. And let's select, do you want the background color or do you want the font color? It's really up to you. I'm going to go with font color for now. Uh, format by, let's go to field value based on the measure that we just created, which was format total cells color and let's click apply and as you can see based on the measure that we just created which is the format total sales color uh, is going red or green based on if we have greater sales this year than the previous year so let's use uh, another uh, paper as for example in 2017 we had 3890 sales in 2016 it was 2000 so it's greater so it's showing as red so instead of doing the font color as red or green this time I'm going to show you how to do the background. So once again let's select previous year sales, conditional formatting and this time we're going to go to background color. Once again field value, base it on the measure that we created, the if statement and apply and there we go. We can see it as green and red. Now we can also so we can also add dynamic conditional formatting to so, our, so we can also add dynamic conditional formatting to our cards. Now this is a good way for users to consume information. So let's add our total sales. So this is 2017 total sales. Let's take off the March filter and let's add another card for the previous year sales. Uh, let's drag in our measure there, and then we have our previous year sales. Let me change the name of this card. Uh, previous year sales. There we go. Now we want to apply the dynamic conditional formatting. So once again, let's go to the format tab this time because we cannot click over here. Format tab, let's select our data label. So this will be the numbers. Let's click the function button. And once again, field value. Let's select our measure. And you can see it's dynamically changing color. So let's do the background as well. Uh, let's do a background, apply, function, field value. Let's select our measure and the background's green. Obviously you can adjust the transparency etc but you can see if we select December the colors are changing depending on if we made more or less. 
So that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to incorporate dynamic conditional formatting. It's a great way for end users to consume information. Just visually, it's pleasing. So if I helped you and if this video did help, don't forget to subscribe, like, and that's it from the Power BI, guys.